What's your opinion on the uh, Madeleine McCann case? Oh, it, well, it's interesting because I, I knew a, a woman that had involvement in that from from early on. She's she's not um, she's police staff, but she's not an investigator. Um, and my opinion is that they killed her, uh, Jerry and Kate. Um, what I've heard is that they were swingers, you know, and that they'd been anaesthetizing the young girl and maybe the girl body had to be disposed of because if it was found, it may well have had signs of sexual interference, mm. which would then put an inference on, on, on the other two children being looked at and maybe prevented anyone from leaving that country. And that Concalves, the guy there, you know, again, this is typical British snobbery. You know, they denigrated and rubbished him and tried to take the investigation over to him. It's a Portuguese investigation. They're under Napoleonic law. We're under common law. We have no jurisdiction in that country at all. What the hell were the British police doing there? They weren't assisting because they didn't want their assistance. They had it under wraps. So certain was Concalves that, 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 that they did it that um, he wrote a book. And of course, Kate McCann went out of her way to destroy his credibility, so he went and wrote another book. And he won he won the, the, the liable case as well, Concalves. Um, the other thing, which I find wholly despicable, I brought up four kids on my own. I wouldn't go anywhere where I couldn't take my kids. So what are you doing leaving your kids? You know, it's Portugal, it's a kid-friendly country. It's not that important you, that, that, you know, that, that your kids aren't there. You do everything, you know, so that in itself is abandonment. So it should have been done for abandonment because what's an offence abroad is offence at home if it's arrestable and you're a British subject. And the other thing, they brought a dog in, the sniffer dog. Right? I think that was one of the most uh, the best trained dog in the world. Ever, yeah. yeah. The FBI took it on afterwards. That dog picked up a cadaver scent, right? And it did. What's a cadaver scent? It, it's a dead body. A cadaver's yeah. a dead body. So it picked up and it was a positive hit. You can see the dog isn't lying. It picks it up in certain locations. And it, apparently it, it, it double stunk in the car, you know, because they said the body was put in there in a state of decomposition. Because when a body dies, um, you know, it, the bacteria gets released and off it goes. The onset is straight away. It's immediate. What was tragic about that was uh, um, Haute de la Garenne, the children's home in Jersey, in which very similar to that Ashton Hall, there were sex parties going on. If you ever get a chance, watch a video called Sun, Sea and Satan by Pine Mash Films. Fantastic documentary about that. The copper called Lenny Harper, who's one of our little gang of whistleblowers. Big respect to you, Lenny. One of the bravest guys I know, my friend. And he stood up and he was crushed like I was because um, he exposed what was going on in the investigation in Jersey where children were being killed. They used the same dog. And the, the, the same dog picked up the scent of their bodies in, in Jersey. They were doing everything they can to destroy the investigation in Jersey. They found human skull. It was identified by an anthropologist as human skull. It had collagen on it. Right, it got sent off. When it come back, they said it was coconut shell. But the dog corroborated the anthropologist and the archaeologist and everything. So when Kate McCann attacked that dog, uh, his credibility, which I don't know how she did that anyway, because it can't, the dog was infallible, you know. But she did. So they couldn't use the dog's evidence. That then discredited the dog in the Jersey case as well. So that collapsed. So the damage that woman's done, you know. And one of the best documentaries I've ever seen, and, and I took an interest in it because I, I, I dealt with it myself, was um, Embedded Confessions by uh, Peter Hyatt, the American um, uh, statement analyst, and he analyses the transcription of Kate and Jerry McCann. And his findings were pretty much what I thought was going on anyway. He's absolutely brilliant, this guy. Mm -hmm. And he just says, they've killed they've killed the child. It was an accident, but he won't rule up sexual abuse as well. And he's brilliant. Embedded Confessions, YouTube, Embedded Confessions. Yeah, I'll McCann. put all the links to this on yeah. the description. Exactly. But yeah, and, and of course, you've got to look at who these people are. They're both doctors, high society people. You know, kids, kids are abused and killed all, all day long, mm -hmm. you know? And so why are they bothering with this family? Why?